Good evening and welcome to another Parker Adams Boat Sales video walkthrough. I'm down in a very tranquil Hyde Marina this evening and just behind me I have a really special looking boat. Now this is an XO280 Explorer. It's a 2021 boat and I've admired these boats for many years now, seeing them around the Solent and one of the things I want to do this evening is um, just look over the boat and show you all the features and benefits but also I will refer a few times to how these boats are similar and different to the Axapar 28. Um, often and there's a big comparison between the two boats and I think it's been fascinating to have a look over this boat this evening and one of the things I will use to describe this boat is just really really clever there's lots and lots of features on this boat that I think are really clever really well thought out and I'm very excited to show you the boat now inside the boat you can see uh, from this picture here there's a really nice generous size at the back where you've got lots of space that you can have as a dining area or you can lift these seats up which I'll show you a little bit later into a design for perhaps fishing at the back. Internally you've got a nice amount of space here with a large seating area, LED lighting on the ceiling and then lovely laid out helm position and then this forward seating area in the bow. This boat as I mentioned is a really really well thought out boat and Every time I look over the boat, I see little touches uh, which just show how nicely they've been thought out. So for example, you can see here in the splash well, that's all non-slip material down there. A lot of boats just leave that as being a smooth fiberglass, which is obviously slippy when it gets wet. If we walk down the side, one of the most obvious things you notice is that these boats don't have a side access. So the Axapar 28, for example, has a, a much, much smaller cabin. You can walk either side, but actually what you end up on this is a much, much larger amount of space um, internally. And then in order to access the bow seating area on the Axapar 28, it's on the left hand side and on this one, it's on the right. Um, you've got storage lockers underneath each of these, and I'll show you those a bit later, including probably the cleverest little um, clips there on these lockers to stop them blowing away in the wind. And that's something which a lot of boats that have these front cushions do tend to suffer with. And then you've got an anchor um, chain locker on the front as well. So this is the front of the boat and I'll show you how to access this area from inside the boat in a moment. If we keep walking down, you can see the fuel filler cap is just here. Now, something you might notice here on the tab is it says aft tank. And that's because this particular boat is fitted with two fuel tanks. So there are twin 225 litre fuel tanks, giving a total fuel capacity of 450 litres, which is significantly more than the 300 litres that you get on the Axapar 28. And I do know from experience when taking the Axapar 28 down to Devon, there are a few moments where you wonder if you have enough fuel to for long extended journeys. So it would be nice just to have a bit more peace of mind with these larger tanks from a cruising point of view. So if we step on board, you can see this particular boat has got a synthetic teak, which is laid all the way around in this rear cockpit area. You've got a fender basket that I really like here. So you've got four fenders that fit neatly into here. And then as we step on inside, there's a table mount. So you can add a table into this area here. Love the way that the XO logo is there and inscribed into this synthetic teak. And if I show you inside the locker space, I think it's quite nice to look inside these because I think the attention to detail on this boat, it really is lovely. You can see it's all non-slip inside there. Um, the Mercury power steering pump is neatly away here. They can tend to be quite noisy, the power steering pumps. It's nice, this is right at the stern of the boat. And then there's even a washer fluid there, which gives you washer jets, um, just to make sure that any salt water is getting cleared from the windscreen nicely. So that's on that side. If I close that down, and look inside this locker, you have your battery switches. Very nice, out the way, good quality here. You've got your battery access, which is really nice. And then you've got your start battery, uh, your house battery, and then you can join them together. And it's got one of these digital switches that join the batteries together. So all beautifully laid out. And it's nice to see when you look behind the scenes in boats, um, the attention to detail, the quality of the wiring, um, and everything is, is laid very, very nicely. Just clip those down. So the seats at the back here, they've got some pad cushions on at the moment, so you can sit down and be very comfortable. If you remove that, you can then, example on this side, you can lift that up. It's got a little tab that you clip onto there. And each one of these seats does that, which creates this really large cockpit space. So if you were to be out with friends, standing, chatting, or out perhaps fishing for the day, you've got a really versatile area at the stern of the boat. So let's step in. 
thing that struck me when I first got on board this boat was just the size in here. I'm used to the Axapar cabin, which is obviously much, much more narrow, but the use of LED lighting, really, really bright lighting in here is really nice. And this lovely dining area, which has got this folding table, so you can make it smaller as just a little cocktail table or larger. And this seat back here has got two, well, it's actually got three different positions. So you've got this position here where you can sit around the table. There's a lovely stainless steel mechanism, which is really high quality down here. And I just need to pull the pin and then just push this forward. And what you now have is you've now created twin co-pilot seats. In fact, I think if you're feeling friendly, you'd probably get three people on there and then a, a, a helm here as well. And then if you just pop that stainless steel pin out again and just move the seat back into that position, you created this extra dining area. And there's a third position as well, which lays that completely flat. And the reason for that is because there are two table legs. That's the long table leg on there, that goes down. And then this table sits into position here and that creates a double bed on the top. You can get blinds for the windows if you wanted to, but this creates a large double bed area here. And that combines together with the seating area, which is on this side. Now, some people can have a galley area in this. So the design of the XOs is that they're designed to be modular, but actually this boat's fitted with this additional seating. So if you were sitting down here, I think you'd comfortably get six, seven people down here, really comfortably and traveling in, in real comfort on this boat. You've got a helm seat, so it's a single helm seat. It's on a runner, so it moves backwards and forwards. And if I then look at the helm position, you've got a lovely big Simrad display and very, very tactile lights. I like all these switches. You've got the navigation light, deck light, everything's very functional, very tactile. Now this particular boat is fitted with a bow thruster and it also has the Mente Marine auto tabs. And very neatly, if I look up on the screen here, it's fitted with a rear facing camera. Now the rear facing camera is a really nice thing to have, particularly if you're maneuvering somewhere like this in Hyde Marina, where it's quite difficult to get into berths, it's quite tight. But you know, just look down at the camera, it does add a, a real element. And I like my gadget, so I really like that. It's one of my favorite things. <laughs> Um, the boat is powered by a Mercury Verado 350, gives around 40 knot performance, and of course you've got really nice fly-by-wire throttle system here, so it's effortlessly smooth going in and out of gear. And knowing these engines as I do very, very well, you'll barely be able to hear that engine when you're going along inside this cabin space. The distribution panel is just down here, so all of your pump, all of your um, switches here for, for example, the septic tank, um, your isolators for your horn, navigation lights, etc are just positioned here and then you have a cigarette lighter socket just down here where of course you've got a very useful phone charger. Something else I really like and I think it's something that's uh, perhaps missing from the Axa bar is that you've got a seat uh, not a seat I'll start that again uh, you've got a step here if I pull out again really nice stainless steel quality pop that down into position and you've actually now got a stand so you can both stand on this and if I stand on there my head to drive now comes out of the sunroof which is really good for visibility particularly perhaps when driving at night but you've also got a foot plate so if you're sat here in the driver's position you've got now a really good position to put your feet so I like that it's really versatile now what could be inside here Something that the, this XO has is the option of a little a heads. So there's little heads in there. It's an electric toilet. And I think it's really cute in there. And little touches on the side that I like placed there to store um, the Simrad sun cover or perhaps any charts that you wanted to put into there. An almanac would slide into there. But it's nice to be able to have the option of having a toilet compartment which is safely stored in here without the need to go outside if you do need the loo. Now, talking about overnight accommodation, just under here, if I open this up, you have a separate bunk. So just inside there is a single bunk, so you can actually sleep three people on this boat really comfortably off. So this converting into the double space here, and then the single berth in there. I think it's really versatile, and it amazes me how much they've managed to fit into this, this XO280. If we keep moving to the front, you have these really good solid windscreens and um, big um, double armed wipers will wash away any, any seawater or spray that comes over here. And if you want to get access to the outside world, you just open this window, step forward, open the latch and just give that a push. 
that now steps forward into this large seating area. If we keep everything open, you can see the boat's got a really nice flow through as we go from this seating area here all the way through into the cabin space and then out again at the rear deck. So it's a really nice flow through this boat without the need to go onto the side decks. So you end up with a much, much larger cabin and a really nice feel to that. If I open up this and just lift that up, you'll see that inside there, that is that single berth. So this is access to the single berth just in there. But of course you can use that for things that you wanted to store. If you wanted anything dry in there, you could pop them in. I mentioned earlier about these really clever little um, covers. I was really impressed by these. You quite often find on boats that have these front cushions that the cushions tend to go flying off when you go at speed. Now these have got a really simple but natty design where you've got these little clips and they literally just clip over the edge there, snap into position. And it just means that these cushions stay really nice and firm when you're underway. If I lift up this one as well, You've got more storage under here, so extra ropes, fenders you could store in there. And then if I close that up and look forward, in here you've got nicely stored in there an anchor um, rope or anchor chain and then just simply throw the anchor over the side and then just attach it to one of these stainless steel cleats. Close that up again. So from looking through this boat, I have to say the feel of the boat really is of the most excellent quality. Very, very impressed with the EXO and it has a very different feel to the Axapar as well. And it's been really nice to sort of feel what the differences are and see how a different design has come to light. In essence, it's a very similar boat to the Axapar, but in many ways, I think it adds a lot, lot more livable space. Um, I should have referred to it, in fact, you could see it earlier. That's the fantastic sunroof. And if I just show how simple that is to close up as well, just twist the bar and then just pull it forward. And that then just locks down, but it's all glass. So you've got this really nice, when it's closed, you've got this lovely feeling of light and spaciousness inside this. One of the other things I really want to show you is just the way that this area converts into this double bed. So you can see it's a very, very simple design where you're just utilizing your table and then a short table leg, and just to create this really, really large berth here. And I think that is absolutely brilliant. Loads and loads of space on there. Um, and really is a very versatile three person overnighter. So that's been the Parker Islands walkthrough tour of the XO280. Really stunning example of this boat. Remember, it's a 2021 boat, so it feels and looks absolutely brand new. Um, it's very low hours engine, 40 knot performance, and it's a chance to beat the waiting list for one of these fantastic boats. So thanks as always for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks as always. Bye.